everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my hive. My name is Bev, aka Momo B Diamond Paints, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So me and Yureli from Yureli Diamond Paints and Plans, she is also a planner. We were discussing all the holiday events that are, or the diamond painting events, not holiday, diamond painting events that are happening this year, and we were like, hey, what about if we both do videos of us planning out the events that we're going to be participating? participating in. So I was like, yeah, I got a new Clever Fox planner, so I can definitely do that because I'm just, I'm still setting it up. There's nothing really in here. I've written in the dates and things like that, but that's about it. So it'll be kind of a diamond painting slash planner video, but I thought that I would let you guys in on what I am going to be participating in so that you guys can decide if you want to participate in these particular diamond painting community events as well. If you've never joined a diamond painting event, uh, Abigail Marie actually has a really great video, which is where I took down notes on the events that I want to participate in. She's a great video. I'll link it below. Uh, check it out. It lists the I, I think it lists like all of, if not the majority, 99% of the diamond painting events that are happening this year in the diamond painting community. So you'll want to check out her video. And I decided from watching her video, which ones I'm going to be participating in. And first, right off the bat, we have January. So January is Books and Diamonds, and I do want to participate in that, but I'm not sure if I do have a canvas that will go with it. So I'm going to leave January's um, but I'm just going to write books and diamonds so that I remember, hey, don't forget to participate in books and diamonds. And I've, I've decided that on these monthly pages, they all have this little box here and it's split into two columns. So I've decided that I'm going to use the first column of every month page so that I can plan out the diamond painting events. So I'm going to write books, hashtag books in diamonds and then I'm going to put in what canvas I'm working on and right now it is the 9th and I'm still working on my lady moth but I want to finish it because I am one of those people who only works on one diamond painting at a time I do want to finish it before I start a new diamond painting but I should be able to get that done by the 11th and then I can decide on um, which diamond painting I want to work for for books and diamonds if I do have one I believe I have one or two that might work February comes and there's Drill a Beast. So Drill a Beast is um, basically you can drill a beast, like a beastly, a monster maybe. Um, let me know if I'm getting this wrong, but from my understanding, it's you can drill like a really large canvas or you can drill an actual beast. So for Drill a Beast, I came up with doing Lamb and Dragon and I've just put in, I've just like, cropped the image of the diamond painting so that it is rectangular and will fit in the square nicely and this is the one I plan on doing for Drill a Beast and it is a larger painting too I don't know if it will qualify if it's large enough but I'm pretty sure it is but that's the one I want to do for Drill a Beast Drill a Beast so I'm going to glue that into my planner Ooh. I always like don't know which way this thing goes. Am I doing it the right way? I think it's this way. So this is just double sided adhesive. Oh no, I broke it. Or was it broken before? I don't remember, but that sucks. So we'll just switch to glue stick. Why does it hate my life? That's the real question. So we're gonna do Drill a Beast, and I'll do this one. And my camera just cropped out. So what I was saying, and after it cropped out, I'm also going to be participating in Indian Maiden. Um, I think, like, PC term, it should be Indigenous Maiden, but who am I? Um, <laughs> so this is another diamond painting event happening in February. So I'm going to be participating in both, hopefully, Drill a Beast and Indian Maiden. And I actually ordered a Mystical Diamond Art um, canvas. This is by Gloria West. And you really peer pressured me into ordering this. She was like, I was like, oh my god, I need to get this painting. And then she 
direct messaged me on Instagram and she was like, did you order one yet? And I was like, no, I've just been looking in the blanket one by Gloria West is sold out, but I do like the wolf one. And she was like, oh, that one's so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God, you're such an enabler. So I ended up ordering it. Thanks a lot, your alley. But I was trying not to buy diamond paintings. I do still have more on the way since Christmas, but this one I had to have. I've been looking at Gloria West for a while and I remember when Yorali actually opened one of her Gloria West diamond paintings. Um, she was like almost crying and that was like so cute. But yeah, so I knew I had to have it. I just ordered it anyway because I'm like this is it's eventually going to end up in my basket. So I might as well order it today as of June 8th. Like yesterday I ordered it on June 8th. So hopefully it will come for February. And then there's a chuck along happening. So the chuck along, I'm going to put a hashtag because I think that is the hashtag, is being hosted by Mindy's Diamond Moments. Mindy's Diamond Moments. I think that's her channel. Mindy. You all know Mindy. Um, so I actually ordered, or my friend ordered for me, my first Chuck Pinson, and it's the Simple Country by Diamond Art Club. So this is the one I'm going to be doing during the chuck along in March. Let's glue this one in here. I'm excited to see how Urelli's video is going to come out, like what she, how she's organizing her diamond paintings or her diamond painting events. Um, I will link to her channel or the video down below as well as Abigail Marie, so you can also see what other events that I'm not, I might not be participating in, but maybe there's something you want to participate in. I'll also, just to note, in March on the 7th, which I haven't put in my planner yet, is my birthday. So everyone celebrate March as my birthday month. And February, just so you know, is my pre-birthday month. And then April is my post-birthday month. So just so you know, there's those celebrations that you should be rejoicing for. Um, yeah, I'll just move on to the next one. And then in May according to my list from uh, Abigail Marie's video, in May is J Wall's, J Wall May. And I do have one Josephine Wall, which is this one. It's called Virgo by Diamond Art Club. Again, this is just a cropped version of the image, but I definitely want to be participating in that one because I'm scared of, I'm actually scared of my Josephine Wall diamond painting because it, I, I imagine it has a lot of confetti. Like, I haven't unboxed it yet. I will unbox it for my channel so you guys can see as well. But I'm just scared of the confetti. So, J. Wall May. I know that they're still working on a hashtag. But I will be participating in that. So, we will paste this Josephine Wall. Her work is so beautiful. I love her art. Paste that in there. And then I know in in July, there's Christmas in July, but it's not finalized yet, I don't think. And it was like last year it happened, but they don't know if they're doing it again this year. It's not confirmed. And then August is Summer Sky, Diamond Painting Summer Skies. I know that I do want to participate in that, so I'm just going to put... So this is my August. I'm just going to write DP Summer Skies. Summer. I don't have a diamond painting that is good for this one yet, but I'm sure by the time August rolls around at this rate, I will have one or two that I can probably drill for this month. So I'm going to leave the thumbnail out of it. And then in September, is the chuck along and is another chuck along, but I won't be participating in it unless I do get another chuck pinson. So I'm just gonna leave this blank. And then in November, October has drills and chills. So I'm gonna write drills and chills. I think this is the hashtag, whatever. Um, where you actually start um, start and finish a Halloween diamond painting within the month of October. I don't know which one I'll be doing for this. I'm sure by the time that this comes up, I will have a, a, a Halloween or fall feeling diamond painting. So I'm just going to leave this one blank. And then in November is No Start November. No Start 
November which I am going to participate in and I have the perfect canvas because I've already started her and I need to finish her. I'm sure that I'll work on more canvases that I don't I won't finish and I will have more of my whip works in progress in my pile but the one I'm going to be working on is this one by Marie Abagnale. I don't know, let, sorry if I pronounce that wrong. And it's licensed to Treasure Studios Arts. So I will be working on this one. I'm pretty much almost done the diamond painting. I still have probably half of halfway to go, but it is one that I'm not going to be working on because I, I don't know, I just for some reason I can't get down with the double s or the mounted adhesive. So I probably won't be working on that one for until November, which is like fairly far away if you think about it since it is January, but still. And then December, I'm sure there's going to be some Christmas events, but um, I'm just going to leave this because I don't, I don't really buy like event or holiday based canvases so I'm sure by the time December comes I'll have ordered a Christmassy one or like a wintry one that I can do. So just to summarize again I will be participating in hopefully Books and Diamonds if I can get uh, Lady Moth done in time. I'm going to be participating in Drilla Beast Indian Maiden. Oh here so you can actually see it. Drilla Beast Indian Maiden in March is the Chuck Along, where you do a Chuck Pinson painting, which I'll be doing Simple Country by Diamond Art Club. April, I don't have anything. May, I will do J. Wall May, where I'll be doing Virgo by Diamond Art Club. And then all the way to August, I will be doing DP Summer Skies. I just don't know what canvas I'll be doing for it yet. And then September, nothing. October, I will be doing drills and chills. Again, don't know what canvas I'll be using for that one. And November, I'll be doing No Start November with this one from Treasure Studios Art. And then December, I will be doing some sort of winter event or ha Christmas event, but I just don't know which one I will be participating in. What about you guys? What events are you planning on participating in this year? Let me know down below. Um, I'm like, I do have a list of all of the events, but these are just the ones I'm going to be participating in. Again, if you want to know a list of the events, there's a whole bunch of resources. Like someone posted them in Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's and Rachel Ray's group Crafters Anonymous. You can see in there the list of the monthly events. Um, you can watch Abigail Marie's video that's linked in the comments or in the in the description box below or there's other videos that also explain the events that are coming up like I know Mindy's Diamond Moments has an event an event video as well so there's a whole bunch of different events there's lots of prizes and it's just fun to craft along or diamond paint along with people and kind of see their works in progress and what they're working on and also it's kind of motivating to to keep going and keep diamond painting. Let me know down in the comments below which events you will be participating in and if you're new here please consider subscribing. Join the Hive. It's free. All you have to do is click the red subscription button and you will see new videos that I upload on a weekly basis. Thanks for joining me guys. Bye! Bye!